Now that we have reached 13,000 subscribers, I'm going to be giving away a titanium white octane when the channel reaches 14,000 subscribers. To enter, all you have to do is join the Discord server linked in the description down below and subscribe to the channel. But anyway, good luck to everyone who is entering and let's get into the video. Before we head into the video, I'd love to give a shout out to the brand new sponsor on the channel, RL Exchange. Now, RL Exchange is a great way to buy Rocket League items and credits on any platform at the cheapest prices so that you can build your dream Rocket League setup. Check out their website using the top link in the description and use code TXC at checkout to get yourself 3% off your order. Yo, what's up guys? Welcome back to another video in episode 3 of Trading From Nothing Up to the Alpha Cap. Now, episode 1 is almost at 5,000 views, so I know that you are loving this series. And um, last episode has almost passed the like goal as well, so thank you so much for that. Um, but yeah, episode 3 already, we are smashing this series, and um, I've said it in every episode so far. We're trying to do this in under 6 months. Now, I know that sounds like a lot, but this Alpha Cap is worth 230,000 credits. So it would be nice if it would drop in price as well just to help me out a little bit um but if you haven't already checked out the previous episode so you know what is going on we started off with 7.5k from um the fennec set and we're working up from there but um the first episode will be linked at the end of this video if you do want to check it out from there as well also the intro still does say 14,000 subscribers we're going to be giving away a white octane um now we've passed 14.1k already the support has been crazy since episode one um but if you look in the discord server which is linked in the description of this video the giveaway has started for the white octane it's going to be going on for a week when i give away that white octane the intro will change and it will say when we hit 15k but for now it still says when we hit 14k just because i still haven't done that giveaway i'm going to upload proof as well so you guys know that it is real but i just want to say once again thank you so much for the insane support on this series we'll try and hit 150 likes on this video as well if you do want to see um the next episode or obviously i'm going to be doing them anyway but um yeah 150 likes that is going to be our goal but anyway we're going to hop straight in to the first trade of episode three okay so hopping into the first trade of the video now it is going to be with a painted black market and it is going to be the black atomizer now at the time it was 1.7 to 1.9k um sort of going up and down um all over the place but um we do pick it up for 1.1k that would have been 600 below the minimum value however it is going to be pretty hard to sell now it's not going to be as hard to sell as like stride tide or shade raider and paint black markets because they can basically be impossible but um I, I will be able to find the minimum value it, it will just take some time um but we will eventually find that 600 credits profit so uh not too bad whatsoever um in uh, as i've said in some previous episodes i'm aiming to make around 100 credits profit a trade and we've definitely smashed that goal there so very happy with that trade now we're also going to be picking up some black reapers now we're paying titanium like gravity bomb which is also really hard to sell and a non-crit exotic so i'm selling my non-crit exotics for 120 so that would have been 1220 credits for the black reaper which i do believe is 1400 credits minimum value so not bad whatsoever um underpaying with hard to sell items is probably the best um the best the best way i can make profit just because um it basically gets rid of my um hard to sell items so i don't need to try and focus on selling them which would take me a lot of time and i get an easier to sell item which i can sell on and make profit so perfect and we sell it on for 1.4k and it only took me maybe 20 minutes which um the, well the market in this day is uh is pretty rare so i'm um, glad to get that going getting ourselves some very nice credits and the inventory is looking very solid for um only the start of episode three now if you haven't already go and check out the other episodes i don't know what you're doing because you won't know what's going on um because we started with 7.5k which you might be confused about if you haven't seen episode one but go and check it out when it will all make sense um but we also do manage to sell a 20xx here but yeah the inventory is looking pretty solid as i was saying there are still some hard to sell items like both of the supernova which will take some time to sell just because they're limited not many people are looking for them um so they're going to be hard to sell also the crimson gravity bomb is going to be very hard and then the uh both the sunburst just because um painted wheels are painted tunica sunburst and dicey um no matter if it's uncommon or exotic they are going to be quite hard to sell and they're they're worth a decent amount so uh not too many people are going to be looking to buy them but here we do get a very decent trade the beach party in there is worth 600 the fennec i believe is 450 um so that is already over 1000 credits which we paid 
The three extra non-crate exotics will add up to 360, and then the um, golden series exotics another 150, so that will be 510. So uh, we're getting back about 1,500 credits worth of items, and we paid 1k, so about 500 credits profit to be made um, there. And then we also do go on to sell both of the non-crate imports, just clearing up some inventory, uh, just clearing up the inventory a little bit i still can't speak all oh my days all right um so i've said it in every episode so far you don't want to get your inventory too clogged up you want to sort of be able to manage it really easily because if you've got like 20 hard to sell items you're going to be focusing on selling all of those items at the same time it's going to be too hard and uh chances are you're not really going to be able to sell any of those items then you won't get any trades trade them and get boring and um yeah it, it just spirals and uh, it, it's really not good for your inventory so yeah try not to have too many hard to sell items and um also this uh so this trade here we're picking up a sky block chain for 1.3k um in the last episode we sold them for 1.3k so this must have been um th they would have gone up at this point so they would have been 1.4k minimum so we're paying 100 credits below the minimum value and then basically straight away we sell it on for the minimum value i've said minimum about 20 times so uh in this trade here i do yeah so we get 1.4k um for that sky block chain for uh so an easy 100 credits profit so not bad whatsoever i would definitely take that and that literally took a about five minutes so a very very easy profit if you are looking to make quick profit go for standards octanes phoenix um maybe phoenix are a little bit more difficult but standards octanes are really good black markets like dissolver jeweling dragons heat wave they're really good as well i've probably missed a few out but more expensive black markets around the 1000 credit mark are really good if you can underpay maybe 100 to 200 credits flip it instantly and get a lot of profit so uh let me know what methods you are going to be use yeah mainframe here right let me know what um what methods you are going to be using to make some profit and let me know how much you've made with those methods as well just so um i know if these methods are working for you but basically we, we've picked up the mainframe there um that was another black market i didn't uh, i didn't name mainframe is really good for making profit as well i underpaid by i think 100 credits and then we do go on to flip it for the minimum value i'm really not looking for anything more than the min uh the min price just because the market is really dead right now so it's it's, ve it's very difficult to get more than minimum price unless it's maybe an octane or a standard which i've mentioned before but even standards it's not that easy to get min uh, the mid value for right now i'm fumbling my words um but inventory is looking very solid we've still got all those hard to sell items which i mentioned earlier both the sunbursts uh the gravity bomb the supernovas as well beach party is going to be hard to sell black atomizer uh, will be as well now here we're going to be picking up two black standards now we're only paying 100 credits below the minimum value but i did see someone that was buying multiple of them um for 2.5k now it's a trader who's on rl garage a lot he does loads of trades um at cz4 that's just what i call him i can't remember the, uh, the rest of the numbers but we're going to be selling those to him in the next episode but that is going to be the last trade of the video i really hope you have enjoyed and uh, like i said out the start of the video 150 likes is going to be the goal for this video and also we're trying to hit uh well we're trying to get 15,000 subscribers by the end of the month and if we can do that i'm going to be doing a massive golden pumpkin opening when they release um at halloween hopefully if they do release um if not it's a shambles but um yeah we're going to be aiming for 15k by the end of the month and with the uh, with the way we've been going so far that is definitely possible and with the support uh with the series it is 100 possible but thank you so much once again for the insane support on the channel that is going to be it for me thank you so much for watching to the end join the discord as well socials are linked in the description as well but that's going to be it for me and i'll see you in the next one peace out